Hello friends, good morning. So I flew out of Anchorage like eight hours ago. I got maybe two hours of sleep on my flight, but I am finally here. Disneyland Park, I cannot wait to spend the day here. And here's the first character we see as soon as we walk, and you can see Goofy all dressed up in his Christmas attire. This is exactly what I was excited about. The park decorated for Christmas. Look at all the amazing flowers, the beautiful Christmas tree, all the decorations. We're happy to have you as our guest today. And as I made my way up Main Street, now you can see the castle all decked out for Christmas. And it is just now 8 a.m., so the park is officially open. But you guys, the first place I am going here in Disneyland today, because I have not yet seen it, I haven't been to Disneyland since it opened. I am heading in to Galaxy's Edge. I cannot wait. Starting to get the first glimpse of it right now. One of the first things you kind of see as you enter the entrance, at least that I came in, got some old droids discarded here in this area. This is crazy. The theming in here is so, so good. I've tried to limit my expectations because I've heard from friends who absolutely loved Galaxy's Edge and some kind of who didn't. So far, I've been here like two minutes. I really like it. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of coming into like maybe the main courtyard area with the Millennium Falcon right there. Holy cow, seeing it in person is crazy. So my very first ride, I'm doing Smuggler's Run, and I'm definitely doing the single rider only because the line has started to get crazy. And I know that I'm skipping part of the queue, which is where a lot of the theming is, but honestly, I've got to experience the ride as quickly as possible. So, here we go. So I got my card here on Smuggler's Run. I will be an engineer on this first ride. Ah, a brand new flight group. Good luck to you all. You might need it to fly down. Oh, what? Did you think I was flying this one? Did I shot? Okay, so Smuggler's Run was absolutely amazing. What a fun attraction that is. So glad I got to do it. And the single rider line, I was on in like less than a minute. Right here is one of the gift shops in Galaxy's Edge. You can see it has a lot of Stormtrooper gear and honestly all sorts of stuff that would be perfect to buy for our Star Wars Day at Sea cruise next month. Well, I don't think Sherry would love it if I spent $6,615 on this, but it is pretty amazing. The first thing I purchased here at Galaxy's Edge and at Disneyland today is the blue milk at the request of my friend Colin. So, let's give it a try. Now they have blue milk and green milk. The blue is actually really delicious. I don't really know what it tastes like. Kind of sweet, really good. You guys, the ride was just too good. I've got to do it again. So, back inside. Are you trying to get arrested? <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Stay out of trouble. And here is the entrance to Rise of the Resistance. It's actually not open here at Disneyland yet. I think it opens January 17th. I've got to say, from a theming standpoint, the Imagineers absolutely out did themselves. This is definitely the droid that I have been looking for. So I think the next ride I'm gonna do is Snow White Scary Adventure. Done this ride a number of times on trips past, but Disney's actually gonna be making some significant changes to this ride in 2020. So this is probably my last time to ride it as is. So let's go check it out. Well, apparently Snow White is down right now. So let's do Pinocchio's instead. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys are like me, but I could stand here and stare at this forever. The reflection of the castle in the water, and then the castle all dolled up for the holidays. I cannot wait to see it at night with all of the lights on. It's just so perfect. A five minute wait for pirates, definitely going on this. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
It just won't lead to a ruddy Not them blasted lovers. The rascals are scoundrels, villains and knaves. They got me on the show home. That ride always makes me so happy. It is definitely my favorite Disney ride. And the next thing I'm gonna do here at Disneyland is actually the Mark Twain Riverboat. The windswept plains and the rugged Rio Grande. Hey look, it's just like back home in Alaska. We're now heading back into civilization. Of So I'm realizing I have not eaten anything since dinner last night in Alaska, so I need food. A Disney corn dog? Yeah, that'll do. Hi Woody, hi Jesse. I've got a fast pass for Haunted Mansion, so that's where I'm heading now. I love Haunted Mansion, but I really love Haunted Mansion at Christmas time. Season's greetings, everyone! So I did get stuck on Haunted Mansion for about 20 minutes because the ride shut down, but still, it was amazing. Well, it's definitely time. I have been at Disneyland long enough and not gotten a Dole float. You guys know that these are my favorite Disney treats. I know we include this in every single Disneyland vlog, but it is just one of the most special things about Disneyland. And right here above the fire department is Walt's apartment. That to me is one of the things that makes Disneyland so special. The fact that this really was Walt's Park. He stayed here, he greeted guests here, his dreams created this place, and I love coming by his apartment and paying tribute every time I'm at Disneyland. So I'm in one of the main gift shops, gonna check out some of the holiday stuff they have here for sale. Really love these peppermint Mickey pillows. These are 26. 99. Uh, this shirt seems completely fitting. And they have quite a few different Christmas themed spirit jerseys. This is one of them you can see with Disneyland on the back, kind of that Christmas print at the bottom. And here's the new Bell of the Ball bronze display they have. This was just released recently. You can see the black sequined ears along with the bronze bow and a very, very bronze Mickey plush. So several of you told me that I had to try the churro toffee while I was here. And I walk here in the candy shop on Main Street and it's actually what they are making. So clearly I'm gonna need to buy some of this and bring it back home. And look at all the amazing holiday treats they have here. All the different Christmas and winter themed items. These are so stinking fun. Here we go on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Watching kids meet the characters is one of the greatest things at Disney. So I stopped in one of the gift shops here in Toontown and I really love these button sets that they're selling in some of the gift shops. You can see they have Christmas themed ones here. A Nemo themed one, I love this. Meet me on Main Street and meet me at the castle. I'm here for ears, I'm here for Mickey bars. Actually, Sherry and I need that one. I just think they're so fun. Obviously we love the Disney pins, but I like that they're doing more buttons. So now I'm coming in to check out the Star Wars launch bay. And the main reason we're checking out the launch bay today is that this is where the Disney Visa card member exclusive character experience is. So you can see we just got in line. There's a few people ahead of us here, but We'll see who we're about to meet. Come closer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't get to vlog much of that because it's kind of hard to vlog when it's just yourself, but I did get to meet Darth Vader. It was actually pretty cool. <laughs> Christmas? 
This to me is when the park is most magical at nighttime when everything is lit up on Main Street. This is the Disney I love the most. So for dinner tonight, I actually grabbed some of the skewers from Bengal Barbecue. I've had these before and I just love them so much. They come with rice, they come with this slaw. Uh, I went with a pork belly skewer and a beef skewer. Those look delicious. And there's the castle, all lit up at night. And over here we have Minnie in her Christmas outfit. This, one of my very favorite, maybe even my favorite piece in all of Disneyland. It's the actual bench from the Griffith Park merry-go-round in Los Angeles, where Walt first dreamed of the idea of Disneyland. I love seeing this every time we come to the park. Hey, that's me. So you guys have kind of been a huge failure when it comes to trying like holiday flavored snacks and treats here at the park. However, I did get the sugar plum churro. Let's give it a try. I would say it's almost tart like raspberry, but then sweet. So it is like that sweet and sour mix. It's actually really good. I don't think I like it as much as like a normal churro or as some of the other like specialty churros that I've had before but all churros are delicious. Cherish the holidays forever and always believe. Guys, I had to end today the same place I started it. So here I am back at Galaxy's Edge. Oh, this right here. DJ Rex speaking. Try a fuzzy bond on. They taste better on the inside. Well, I'm about to take off from Galaxy's Edge. Uh, got to go to Ogus Cantina. I've got to say, I have so many thoughts about this land, so many thoughts about my experience here. I'll give you all my thoughts later. So it may be because it's after 11 p.m. and the park is closed, but I'm the only person in here. This is that little theater on Main Street that shows like the old classic Mickey Mouse movies. In here, just, you know, watching some old classics, people outside strolling by as they head home, and uh, no one else is in here with me. All right, friends, I'm at my hotel. I just checked in. It is 12.30 a.m., I guess. Uh, more than 24 hours ago, I left home in Anchorage. I flew all night to LA. I slept for maybe a couple of hours on the flight. I got in, I rented my car, I drove to Disneyland. I was there when the park opened. I got to experience Galaxy's Edge for the first time. I got to go on a ton of rides. I got to pretty much do everything on my Disney list. I got to meet a whole bunch of you guys. I met like eight of you today. And honestly, that was one of the highlights of my day. The fact that we got to talk so much and have so many great conversations that I got to know you a little bit better. And I am going to do a full wrap up in another video that's talking about like my thoughts experiencing Disneyland as a solo park visitor for the first time. But I've got to say today was amazing. I thought Galaxy's Edge was un- believable. I have like almost no complaints about it. And just today overall was such a good day. I am physically exhausted from all of the travel, none of the sleep, a long park day. But like while my body is tired, like I just, I don't know, I feel like a soul level happiness and just like joy after today and after meeting you guys. So I'm going to go to bed because I'm exhausted, but I'm so thankful. So so, so, so thankful that today was another amazing day at Disneyland. <sighs> I love you guys. I'll see you on the next Leg Life video.